In this video, I'm going to show three basic Boolean operations called join, cut, and intersect in the extrude command. I'm going to use the Autodesk Inventor default setting. So um, let's get started. First, you want to go to New. What I'm going to be using is Metrics Standard Create. I go to Sketch. I'm going to select the plane XZ. Zoom out a little bit. You select the rectangle, draw out the shape, and dimensioning them. I'm going to put 75 for this, and the other one I'm going to select 50. I'm going to constrain the dimensions 50 divided by 2 for this. zero say OK zoom out a little bit select the extrude cut command I will type in 15 for this say OK now I'm going to select the bottom sketch I will draw a circle hover over the yellow line, uh, dot there so it turns green Go straight up until you hit another green dot. Say OK. Select the extrude command. Highlight the circle. Select the directional because we want it to go up to direction number two. Right now it's showing that it's in a cut command. So what we want is to join command. So the first one is the join command and we want to type in 40 for this one and say OK. Now we're going to draw a circle right here just like this one here. So I'm going to use select sketch circle. Hover over till it turns green. What I want for this is 30 millimeter so I type in 30 say OK. Same procedure I'm gonna choose extrude but this time I want to do a cut command so I'm gonna go down to the second one select the one I want to cut as you can see it goes all the way through but choose through all say OK. Now we're gonna draw a circle for this one here What I'm going to use this time is this one here, which is the whole command. I would select the plane, select the plane, select the side dimensions, type in 25, but don't click enter yet. Select the other side. We want 30 for this one. And what we want on the dimension hole is 20. Now we type click apply. Close this out. Now we're going to draw this line here to be able to extrude cut through this here to create this item here. First we want to do is select the front paint um, line here sketch. All we want to do is just draw two vertical lines. Doesn't matter because we're going to dimension later. Select dimensions. Select this line here and here and what we want on this one is 15. So type in 15. Select another dimension. We want 20 for this one. Say OK. Once we have this, we want to go to extrude, select that face there, and what we want to do is cut. We just go into cut. We want to go not 40, but we want to go 30. And there you have it. So hopefully this will help you.
in the future. So um, if you have any questions or comment, please let me know. Maybe I could answer something for you. Uh, but if you get a chance, don't forget to subscribe to me. Thanks. Bye.